Is anybody going to get a ride today? I don't know. It's the best. That sign flew right over the car. There was a Mike Smith worker standing there, and that sign almost hit him. <laughs> they could have killed somebody. Supposedly, that Lexus was in the left lane coming this way and that car was in the, the, the right lane and the, le the Lexus changed lanes and that red car nails him. I couldn't believe how loud it was. Man. Oh, <laughs> I get hit by a sign, you could have got killed. Holy shit. Oh, dented a nice GMC there. <laughs> got nine lives today. This is a sell line for Mike Smith Buick, so all the cars in his line are sold. So they, that Chevy Equinox, they just sold it, so obviously. Uh,
He seems like it's okay. Is, he's, he's, he's yeah, yeah. I heard you. <laughs> he seems like it's okay. The guy from Mike Smith said he was driving kind of fast. He was flying down here. Cause this car, this car was allegedly turning left, changing lanes, and freaking nailed him. I don't, I don't know. Yeah. No, just that's what I heard. You know. So, just to let you know. Everybody's all right. That's all that matters. Uh, he's going into the hospital, I think. Yeah, it's always good to get checked out. Well, if you want to know facts about this vehicle, he's only had this car for four months. Oof. Think about it. The speed limit here is 50, 55. Is it still 55? Yes. Yes. So he may not have been going as fast as. But if I may also introduce the little piece. Yeah, but it's. Um, that's why I tell people to buy dash cams. This is the primary yeah, reason yeah, why you buy yeah, dash. They're 50 bucks. We're in the process of doing the same thing. Yeah, you buy it. Oh, that's your car there? Oh, yeah. yeah. I run Mangello's over there. It's my shop. Nice. Look at some different angles here. Yeah, if you need copies of the video, just call me at the shop. All right? That's messed up. You can't even open the doors of that car. It's like, that's fucked up, dude. You got to freaking get the jaws out to break into a car. Then again, probably just break in the window. I bet the inside latch. But then half these windows are now laminated now. So you got to freaking, you know. All these cars are made to get hit. That's yeah. why everybody's okay right now. Yeah. He's just trying to get his information out of his glove box. He can't even get it, you know. The car is totaled, man. What's next to yeah. I'm Dave from Angelos. I am. I was in South Labra for like four years. I always stop and help if I can. It's like I'm actually I'm from Upper Mountain. Right. Oh yeah. Okay. Are you mechanical there? Service writer. Oh, service writer? Everybody said they were like, oh, cars got hit, so I was like, alright, I don't know. Did you hear that? Man, that was freaking loud. Like... To be honest, I thought it was a dump truck or something at first. Yeah, I yeah. saw the trucks in there. It's like, holy shit, I don't know. I just boogied over here and right away just, you know. I don't get these kids, the minute they, uh, Everybody was out of the car so quick, you know? This is horrible. I don't know if people don't just go to the light. Everybody tries to cut around. It's just because this is a bad turn to make. Yeah. Like the, you know, yeah. Box. So one time we had an MVA in the corner there. We're trying to load somebody in an ambulance. And a car goes around our stop, hits the stretcher. With a guy on the stretcher, makes the right turn and heads down freaking transit road. So the trooper pulled him over and got him, you know. Always tell people to join a volunteer fire company. They always need help. Oh, yeah, absolutely. It's just people have such a lack of community now they don't think and it's it's very easy to become a volunteer sometimes you just need some people to direct traffic we um have, we only have we have like 30 members in total we have you know, yeah. three four people show up yeah. everything yeah I'm trying to talk to some fire companies you know through the government's you know offer incentives like because you realize the older members tend to have more common sense, so and they own houses and they you know offer them like free property tax to be a volunteer yeah. or something. Well, At least we're getting paid for classes. 
got yeah. what I call monster that you get two But it's not a lot. Well, is it two? For, if you take fire one, you get two grand. Seriously? Yeah, I mean, it's a one-time go kind of thing. But Holy shit. Yeah. And it's like what if I could join and take it all over again? <laughs> it's 500 bucks per officer class. Really? Yeah. I heard they were talking about doing some sort of property tax and kind of Everybody always says that nothing ever Well, the happens. state's offering it. So the state offers it now, but it's only like 100 or 200 bucks or something. Like, it's like, talk about a slap in the face, you know? At, le at least reimburse guys with like fuel expenses and things like that. You know, they, you know, Lockport offers that retirement program, but okay, who wants to wait till you're 65 years old? You know, so offer some incentives to uh, people that want to, you know, the younger people that want to do it. And it's, I'd like it because especially young adults, you get all this free training. And it's priceless. If you go get a job anywhere, they like seeing it. We're not seeing hardly any fires now, too. Yeah, that's... That is... I, I don't get it. <laughs> is, is, is that much more safety out there now? Yeah, that's that's yeah. awesome, you All know? The stuff on top of it is like, yeah. yeah. You know, I used to have, like, 15 minutes to get to somebody's house, and I got about five. It's like, I feel like they're moving to them pickup truck front end. You know, and a lot easier to work on. Yeah. Much more room. Do you guys transport too or no? Uh, we do. We're also, we're, para we're, well, we're more paramedic stuff. So uh -huh. we can kind of go everywhere to yeah. help out. Oh, you're a paramedic level? Yeah. Really? Well, yeah. hall, I'm not. The hall oh, okay. is there. Um, yeah, we go to like Ransomville, Youngstown. Uh -huh. Wilson. Every once in a while. Oh, you got a dash cam. Huh? You got a dash cam? I do, yeah. That's why I told her, you know, everybody needs to get dash cams. You know, you can't you can't beat them. How much you pay for that one? Uh, that's a 400 range a month. Oh, so it's a really good one. Oh, oh sorry, I didn't even try. Oh, uh, the, the camera? Yeah, no, the camera. It was 300. It's the only one best by hand. Really? Yeah. It's got rear facing too, really? Yeah, accelerometer, GPS, and all that yeah. too? Yeah. Well, it says it has it. It always tells me it can't connect for whatever reason. Oh, really? As long as it's recording, I'm okay with it. Yeah, that's you can't beat them.
it. Please like and subscribe. I'll get more out there. You guys hear anything, an event going on or a accident? Anything that's newsworthy, message me either right here on my uh, video channel or you can call me right at Mangelos. That's my number right there.